Hello, everyone. I think many of you know what a huge marshmallow is. We cooked a lot of different things on a huge scale, so let's cook this too. One of the most important components of marshmallow is gelatin. Open up some bags and pour it into a bowl. Done. A total of 800 grains of gelatin turned out. But in order to able to work normally, we open up three liters of water. And pour in the gelatin. Stir. Literally after two minutes, it begins to swell. Also for a huge marshmallow, you will need some sugar. We open it up and pour out eight kilograms into a bowl. You also need two cans of corn syrup, salt, vanilla extract, and two liters of water. All the ingredients are ready. Let's start making the marshmallows. A saucepan on the scales, and we shift the swollen gelatin. namely 250 grams. Put this on the stove and stir constantly. The gelatin should melt. Done. Now we put the second saucepan on the scales and pour exactly 800 grams of sugar into it. Pour 200 milliliters of water in and corn syrup. Add 320 grams. Put that on the stove. Bring to a boil and cook the syrup for nine minutes. It should acquire a yellowish color. Meanwhile, pour the melted gelatin into the bowl of the mixer. Open the vanilla extract and add a couple of drops. Add salt and put it on the mix. The caramel is already ready. We put in a thin trickle into the mixer. The mass is quickly mixed, foamed and cooled. 10 minutes and we have a full bowl of dense foam. We will use a high saucepan as a mold. To prevent anything from sticking later, we spray the oil. And smear it around with a brush on all the inner walls of the pan. Also sprinkle with starch. That's it, you can pour in our first form. We 
Record the first portion. We install the ball and do the same thing. And we need to redo this six more times. Fill the final layer. And level it out with a slide. Let the mass cool down for 10 hours. Our sweet substance has already set. Sprinkle some cornstarch on top so that it doesn't stick. And let's take out our huge marshmallow. Hooray, everything worked. Sprinkle with starch from all sides again. Look at how soft and spongy it turned out. Just like a store-bought marshmallow. And it tastes even tastier, since there is no taste of chemical flavoring. Turn the marshmallow onto its side. We took a stick like this, sharpened it, and tried to put marshmallows on it to start a fire. But the marshmallows started to tear under its own weight. Therefore, we rejected this idea and decided to cut the marshmallows into convenient pieces for eating. Done. We got a lot of delicious homemade marshmallows. And if you want us to cook something huge, then put 200,000 likes on this video and click on the playlist. There are many more videos with huge food. Bye everybody.